Welcome back, Konius here. Today I'm flying the Top Rudder 103 Solo Ultralight. I'm taking off from Bonnie Dune Village in the Santa Cruz Mountains. I'm going to fly out towards Highway 1 on the California coast. I'm hoping I can get off the ground. My first attempt ended in a stall. I think I didn't um, take the right takeoff angle or something. But anyway, let's go ahead and give this a try. Let me reset the external view, go inside, take my feet off the brakes, and let's get going. Let's see if I can start climbing just a little bit. Okay, so we're getting we're getting airborne now. That's good. I think I feel like I'm pushing the engine a little bit, but I think that's okay. We're actually up in the air, so that's a good thing. Let's see if I can manage to stay up over these trees. Apparently this is an aircraft that anybody can fly. You don't need a license. You can just buy a kit, build it, and fly it. That's a little scary, and it's a little hard to get used to taking off in it if you've flown other airplanes, which I have in simulation. But I've also found that once you get airborne in it, it's actually a lot of fun, very easy to maneuver. Seems like it would be a lot of fun to fly in real life, so I think that would be a lot of fun. Let's go outside and look. So, so far this seems okay. Um, I can boost the engine up a little bit more, it looks like. So let's just make sure to keep the wind going over the, the wing here. I should be going west. I am going west. Let's take a look below us here. Seeing a lot of cars driving on just green dirt rather than any kind of roads. Maybe that's realistic. Okay, let's go back inside, so to speak. Although, you know, again, you just open no uh, fairing or anything. But it's an interesting view. So uh, it feels very natural. Once you're airborne and kind of stable and ha have some altitude to work with, it just feels easy to fly. I think I would be insane myself to buy one and try it, but I could probably afford to do it if I wanted to. Maybe with enough simulation, I could pull it off. I think it's just a little 22 horsepower engine. You don't really need much. The thing is so light, it only weighs 250 pounds has five gallons of fuel. It only costs ten bucks on Microsoft uh, in the marketplace. It just seems like a nice purchase. It's from Adobe Asobo Labs, so or Asobo Studios, so it's I'm guessing that means it's quality you know simulation. My co-pilot is handling all the radio traffic for me, which is funny because there's, it's a one-seater I'm flying, so he's doing it all magically. Yeah, the thing just feels very reliable. It would be fun to actually try to do this in real life. Um, apparently you required to have a parachute. I don't think there's a parachute in the game, but that doesn't matter. It's not real life. I don't know exactly where I am. I'm going to head in the direction of getting over this hill as quickly as possible for more visibility. And this just feels very easy to fly, easy to manage. I hope I'm not overdoing it on the engine. I don't think I am. I think the full kit with the engine was something like 35 grand with the basic avionics, which is what I think I've got here. So 
could be affordable for a hobbyist, but I'd rather spend that kind of money on a fancy 3D printer or something. Alright, well I'm going to resume heading west. It'd be nice to at least have a compass on the dashboard, but you could mount one. A little oil ball compass or something. From the external view, it almost looks like there is some kind of a piece of glass in front of my face. Maybe there is something there to keep me from getting, getting hit by bugs and whatever. That would be nice, but I think it's all open on the sides. I feel like we're kind of getting close to the coast. Maybe over this last big ridge here to the left. A little hard to tell. Such a beautiful view, something you can only see from an aircraft like this. Okay, I'm going to descend a little quicker now. We're out of the mountains. Alright, and I'll see if I can find the highway. Not sure exactly w where we are relative to Donnie Dune. Somewhere along the California coast. I'd like to preserve some altitude as a precaution against stalling. So I don't want to get too low. Okay, so my goal was to go south, so let's, let's go ahead and turn south, and then I want to find Highway 1, and that may be it right below us, in fact, that is it, I believe, right below us. The photogrammetry is colored it funny, but that does look like it's the right road. And there's some beautiful cliffs and things along here that I want to fly by. I'm going to dethrottle a little bit more. See if we can get to a nice touring speed and altitude. Don't want to get too low. In fact, I feel like I should give it some more throttle because I I feel like we're dropping too much. But we can see the highway here on the left. The funny looking photogrammetry cliffs. hear parts of the plane making noise, mechanical noises, as we're going. Looks like they've got some funny map data here with a big hump in the road that cars are going through. That's odd. Alright, I'm going to give us some more throttle just to keep us in the safety zone in terms of altitude and speed. a little closer. Okay, I've driven past this plant up here on the road. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's a cement plant or a lumber plant. I'm not sure, but I've driven past it many times. You can't see much of it from Highway 1.
they need to fix that view not being centered externally thing. That would be nice. A little bit of additional safety throttle. Yeah, it looks like it's a lumber yard. I see a lot of stacks of lumber. And what looks like an office building, I think, is a giant machine uh, for making split logs or something. Very peaceful out here, flying along the California coast, Highway 1, somewhere between Bonnie Dune and Santa Cruz. Can't be sure exactly where I'm at. We did pass a lumber yard a while back. So that's some kind of a point of reference. like a big beach up ahead. Somewhere along here there's a beach that has a giant rock formation that looks like a sleeping greyhound. I think it's called Greyhound Beach. I'm not sure exactly where that is or how to find it. Okay, well that reset view is a little better. Still slightly askew, but that's okay. So we'll see what we see. See if I can find that beach or some other landmark. There's a lighthouse out here, Pigeon Point Lighthouse. Don't know if that's north or south of Bonnie Dune. Might be too south of it already.
beautiful day for flying. I'd like to see something that looks more like our traditional beach. Yeah, I'm amazed by this plane. This, this is really a lot of fun. It's slow, but if you're not in a hurry, it doesn't matter. That looks like a beach. I see what looks like a lighthouse. I don't know if that's it. Might be, though. I'll dive a little bit, see if we can get a little closer. have to be careful with this airplane because I don't know how easy it is to abuse it into stalling or crashing. So is that a tree? Is it a lighthouse? Is it a rock formation? It kind of looks like a Christmas tree. Well, it's definitely not a lighthouse, so not sure. I think I'm going to throttle up some more and try to gain some altitude back. One hundred feet, yeah, I was pretty low to the ground. I have a particular destination in mind, just wanted to fly along the coast a little bit. See if I can find somewhere to land or something interesting to stop at. Get a little bit of a zoomed in view from inside. A little bit like cropping your head up to see more of the landscape. A little harder to tell level though from that view. Okay. Just see a bunch of traffic down there on Highway 1. It's all going in one direction. That's not usually the case. Not much to do except enjoy the sights. The plain livery reminds me a little bit of a Red Bull can or something, although not exactly. Well, 
wanted to see these cliffs from this side. It's like a nice big beach here. Alright, well I think I'm going to end it right here. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next video.